From near or far, from below or above, things change depending on which perspective you take. The EU project Eurovision, museums exhibiting Europe, in short EMI, deals with these different perspectives. Museums and objects are the core of the project. Can a change of perspective bring about new attributions of meaning? Does the new perspective change the objects for the observer so that they appear somehow different, more foreign, more interesting, more European, more global? And are there new ways to actively engage the visitors in this new discovery? Can they perhaps find new, exciting approaches to an object based on their own knowledge? The EU project Eurovision, museums exhibiting Europe, is on track of all these questions. Since 2012, it has been funded by the European Union as part of the culture program. So far, two different products have been developed for interested people from neighboring disciplines that shall provide food for thought on the change of perspective. First, so-called toolkits introduce basic ideas on how museums can newly interpret objects from a trans-regional perspective, how visitors can attain a more active role in the mediation process, and how the museum work can be aligned in a visitor-focused way by means of scenography and the social web. Secondly, on its homepage, the project presents elaborate workshops, which can be used for further training in the area of museum development. Further information and helpful material is available for download free of charge on our website www.museums-exhibiting-europe.eu Changing perspectives Based on an example, which was kindly made available by the Maximilian Museum in Augsburg, the idea can be conveyed of how the change of perspective may operate on a thematic level. The putty, made of German Meissen porcelain, symbolize the four parts of the world known in the 18th century. Europe, Asia, Africa, and America. The objects that are to be understood as products of regional handicraft raise several questions when seen from a trans-regional perspective. Take a closer look. Which continent figure is at the top? Which is at the bottom? Which attributes do they carry? What does this tell us about the world of ideas of the object producers? How did they perceive Europe's position in the world? When taking a close look, you can see that Europe is the only figure that carries a symbol of power and that clearly stands above America. While America is looking admiringly up, Europe is looking down at America. The other pair of figures shows Asia, who carries an incensed burner and a crescent, situated above Africa, but looking in the same direction as Africa. Europe clearly takes the leading position in the circle of continents, which corresponds with the understanding of the world at that time. Europe followed by Asia and then America and Africa. This is how the contemporaries in the 18th century saw the ranking order in the world. But how would we see this today? Is Europe still the center of the world? Or would we have to rearrange the figures in a completely different way when taking today's perspective? The art object, which in the first instance is to be interpreted as regional, shows that by taking new perspectives, trans-regional and European topics can be introduced, which may also offer the visitors interesting food for thought by means of questions pertaining to the present. The perception of the self and the other is only one possibility of reinterpreting an object in a European and trans-regional way, but there are some more. 
All eight categories are explained in Toolkit 1, which you can download on our website. If you're interested in the project ideas, then join us on our way to museum development and help us to gain trans-regional perspectives through new food for thought. Please contact us at info at project.eu